And tonight, Indianapolis has an official plan to improve the city next year. Just hours ago, the city passed the proposed budget for 2023. And now our Emily Longnecker breaks down the big changes on the way for roads, homes and public safety. The almost one and a half billion dollar budget passed with bipartisan support with only one counselor voting against it. Among the top priorities, public safety and infrastructure. With IMPD looking to fill 200 open positions, Chief Randy Taylor thinks what's in the city's budget for 2023 can help make that happen. In the budget, new officers will get a $10,000 signing bonus and start at $61,000 a year. It allows us to be competitive with the other departments uh, that neighbor us. Uh, everyone is trying to get police officers, you know, big, big departments and small departments. Uh, so we're trying to be as competitive with, as we can. $2 million in the new budget will also allow for the creation of an emergency response team made up of only mental health clinicians and health care professionals. They'll go out on nonviolent mental health and substance abuse related calls. There's other departments in other parts of the country that are trying these things as well. Uh, and I think that is another one that's a move in the right direction. People with more specialized training, uh, I think, will, will benefit those citizens we have that are, are in crisis. On infrastructure, the city plans to invest just over a billion dollars over the next five years. In 2023, close to $290 million will go to roads, bridges, and greenway improvements across Indy. The new budget also allows the city to hire for the first time a traffic safety engineer to review fatal crashes. To make sure that we're always putting our thoughts around how do we make our, streets, our new streets as we rebuild them to be as safe as possible. The city's also touting the help property owners will be getting to combat inflation. That will come in the form of a property tax credit, $150 for homeowners whose property is assessed at up to $250,000, and a $100 property tax credit for folks with homes assessed between $250,000 and $400,000. We were able to utilize American Rescue Plan dollars to actually provide that relief to residents, so no additional hit to the city or any of the other units who collect property taxes. City County Council President Vop Osili said in a statement that the budget passage is an indicator of the city's commitment to equity because of its focus on public safety and mental health, as well as infrastructure and neighborhood development. Thanks, Emily. And Mayor Hogsett applauded the infrastructure and property tax changes, but really focused on the anti-crime initiatives, calling it in part a major victory for Indianapolis residents as we invest unprecedented resources towards public safety.